Dave Underwood specifically brought this kind of analogy in for me. He talks about the tale of Robin Hood. And so when we think about Robin Hood, it's pretty cool. Because who is Robin Hood? Who is this guy? We all know this guy. He robs from the rich and gives to the poor. Robs from the rich, gives to the poor. He's a suave fox, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right? That's who he is, right? He robs for the rich, he gives to the poor. You got Little John. Okay, so you got Robin Hood and Little John, right? Robin Hood is the leader of this group of people that robs from the rich and gives to the poor because King Richard has gone off on the Crusades and his little brother John has usurped the throne and is now abusing the people and overly taxing them and making them poor and he uses the Sheriff of Nottingham to go around and do his dirty work. But I want you to walk through this story with me on the analogy side. And I'll try to be brief, and Jennifer knows that's really hard for me. So when we think of this, we have King Richard. And King Richard has his kingdom. And we know that King Richard is a godly king because he goes out on the crusades, right? So there's an era of silence. There's a time where they don't hear from the king because he's gone. And in that time period, Prince John comes in and usurps the throne. He takes power and control. But instead of loving his people, he abuses his people. He locks them up. He takes their livelihood. He physically hurts them and causes them pain. He pulls families apart, throws people in jail. It's a bad dude. He's not caring for his kingdom the way that he should. Now, he feels good. He feels mighty. He feels big and powerful and important and rich because he's taking everybody's money. And that's not okay. So Robin, a mere man, says, we have to change this. This is not how things are supposed to be. And he starts battling back against Prince John, and he's taking that money, and he's giving it to the other people. He's giving it back to the people. And in fact, people buy into this. They say, yes, this, this, the way the world is right now is not how it should be. It should change for the better. I'm going to help him out. And he has these merry men, right? His happy friends that follow him around and help him do that and spread the cause and reach out and make more people to, to fight and join and do what's good and right. So let's put characters to this. King Richard is God. There's a time where we don't hear, of him, hear from him, and there's 400 years of silence between the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, that's not a perfect analogy, but that's just something I used to connect. Then we have Prince John come in and usurp power. That's Satan. He comes in and he abuses, manipulates. He becomes ruler of the world. We just read it in Scripture. He has power and authority. He's getting people to do his dirty work. Then someone rises up. And see, we always hear that Robin Hood robs from the rich to give to the poor, but whose money was it? It was the poor's money. So was he robbing from the rich to give to the poor? He was taking back the rightful property and inheritance that belonged to the people and re-giving it to whoever would receive it. So Jesus steps in and he takes back what the enemy wrongfully stole because that enemy would steal and he'd kill and he'd destroy. But Robin Hood wants people to have life and life to the full. And so he grabs hold of these things and he redistributes them to the people. And he says, guys, this is what the kingdom should be like. This is what reality should be like. We need to care for each other and look out for each other. And we need to obey the rightful king, not this faker. And people start joining him. And you could say that he has disciples that follow him around and buy into the, to the program that Robin Hood's putting out, right? And so Jesus does this with his disciples, and it transforms the world. And eventually, King Richard returns, and Prince John is left weeping and gnashing his teeth in fear and pain and punishment. And all those that joined him get that same punishment. But those who resisted are a part of the kingdom and how it should be. That's pretty sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Like the story of Robin Hood is this beautiful analogy of Christ and his kingdom and battling against the enemy. That 
is how I want you to see the world now. Remember, I told you you were born into a war. What side are you on? And are you intentional? Because not making a choice is making a choice. Pretty sure that's a lyric from a Rush song in the 1970s. <laughs> but not making a choice is still making a choice. So if you're not actively pursuing the will and way of God, you're defaulting to the way of the enemy. If you just go with the flow, the flow is under the power and control of the enemy of this world.